Hi friends, sorry this video is slightly longer than usual because I'm trying to get all the details across to you. This is a new Hartlung machine in the market where I had an opportunity to do my training last week. As this Hartlung machine has a lot of new and interesting stuff which is really amazing. This is Spectrum Medical's quantum Hartlung machine. Uh, they have two configuration. One is Cheltenham frame. What you see is a Cheltenham frame and this is the New York frame. In this video, we are going to see the functioning and the use of quantum handling machine in real in cardiac theater. This is the sucker and the vent module. And this is the dual pump for cardioplegia and this is the main arterial pump. It looks really really fresh. So the first step is uh, turn this on, the switch here on this side. So this one will turn green now. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, and then it should boot here. So when you turn this on, this should go on as well. So how long would it take to boot up? Ah, uh, probably a minute. So it's ready. This one is booted. Mm -hmm. So that's the initial step. Yeah, and then and we need to look. Push the pump manager. Yeah. And you're ready. And then you're ready to go. Yeah. And that's the arterial, and if I turn the arterial, that's the one which is running. The beauty of this pump is every module is color coded. Level sensor. What is red? What is yellow? Both yeah, are level so sensor. Red is for the protected flow. We call it protected flow. So right. it will stop the pump when it hits the level yeah and then the yellow is the safety safe flow yeah. so when it reaches the level it hit it will uh, the flow will adjust okay okay so that's how it is so it just sticks automatically yeah uh if you need to there is a sticky tape for that change it you can use this just a tape okay double sided tape. double sided yeah. Tape. Ah, okay so, yeah yeah arterial temperature okay. So if you just tell me what is what, so so we got arterial flow probe. Okay, yeah, yeah that's a three eight. Yeah, yeah. three eight. Yeah. So put it here on your. Oh, sorry. Out. Yeah. At the same time, this one is your bubble sensor. Okay. So it's a flow probe and bubble sensor. So we just put it near the out. Yeah. And then the other probe is for the venous flow probe this one half just mind the direction arterial sats saturation probe arterial saturation yeah this is yeah. arterial the red one yeah so we put it here and then this other one is the venous saturation venous. Probe. just mind the light yeah. See that light? It shouldn't yeah. hit the blue, the colored part. Oh, okay. So, same with that uh, arterial. Yeah. So make it sure it's on the clear part. So yeah, it's there. Mm -hmm. So at least we've got uh, how many probes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven probes. Seven probes. Yeah. QWS. Yeah. Okay. This bit, yeah? Yeah. The screen. Yeah. And this bit is the pump module right yeah pump module. so where you in you control the pump so like the old knobs yeah yeah, yeah. so that's it and this is the ventilation module okay that's your uh, for your blender blender yeah, yeah okay. so yeah. that's the three main bits yeah. so if you want to you just touch that touch that yeah and then on the level yeah. i have it protected yeah okay. and then it will have a bit and now it, I'm ready to drop my fluid. Oh. 
you got to stop the game because you hit the 200 level. Yeah. It, it means that you are engaged. Okay. It's ready. Okay. Uh, and then I will slowly fill it up. But you need to lock it first. to the pump it should stop so that's a good check and then when it you get the level again it will go back right so that's a good one and now I will do the bubble so we put it in medium like the yeah that's fine and then I will I will release here and then try to bring it out a bit and now it's engaged yeah it activated so i'll try to remove the alarm myself and then the pump will not turn on unless you do turn it on i'm happy with my sensor how one more the pressure the pressure is 300 to stop Release the pressure, it should go on. Same with that. Yes. So we're good so with that. Check, yeah. Only the bubble detector you need to go back on. Yeah. So the rest of everything will yeah. come out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Usually, we need to measure the waste gas. Yeah. Yeah. So we have to connect the vacuum line here gas out here okay you can measure the PO2 PCO to accuracy three by five it's a mandatory yeah yeah gas flow you just uh, you, you know you, you just turn it that's your sweep so yeah you sweep so turn it clockwise yeah and then you will set it through whatever you want mm -hmm. then press push it okay. yeah and then with this FIO2 same turn it and then hit whatever settings you want and then hit it push enter it. it if you don't push it doesn't mean you didn't enter it <laughs> so it's it. and then uh, when you're happy yeah. and you can see the color changes oh, right? yeah. that's how you set it what is this? your design what that's is this vacuum so yeah, if you want to, the vacuum module is still integrated here. Yeah. So we have the, this is your uh, gas that's out, yeah, your oxygen. oxygen, and that's your, this is your vacuum. Okay, that's the vacuum. Port. Yeah, so if you want to do the VABG, yeah. like just connect here and then this is your waste gas, yeah. Well, that's the waste yeah, gas, yeah. And then here, and then set it, there you go. Yeah. I, mean, I, mean, yeah. I forgot to tell you the main the first thing you have to check is this one. Make sure it's connected to the uh, pendulum. Yeah. pendulum yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's reading uh, usually here minus three hundred to minus five hundred. It's good. The vital uh, gas line. Oh the, actually the gas is here. Yeah. And this is your vacuum. Vacuum. Always connected. Yeah. To the pendant. So lag is, uh, it's again a negative section. Yeah. It should be more than, it should be 1 is to 1.4. 1. 1. 1. 4. 1. 4. Yeah, higher 1. than 1. your 1. gas flow. Gas flow. It yeah. will read there, you can see it always okay. there. If you will not reach this, sometimes yeah. the cost is low. <laughs> because of the load. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but if you're 300 or up, it's always safe there. Safe. Yeah. Okay. I just use it as okay. so this is included in our setup. This screen will appear. So that's your sizes of your if you want to change, just hit it 
So just go with master and yeah, follow, yeah. and so then this appears. Yeah, our, yeah, that's our routine style for is one right, mm -hmm. and then with him it's always glitter first. So okay. I can set it first, mm -hmm. and it will uh, just. Do you have to literally set this, or you can just give it and stop it? You can do that. Okay. So, yeah. And then the uh, volume is written and uh, can be found here. Okay, so when well. you're flushing, you just. Flash the flash mode, yeah. then it doesn't count. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you don't hit the flash, it will count as cardio feature, but you can edit it yeah. on the uh, bike always later. We'll yeah. Yeah. For the Venus occluder, yeah? yeah? Always do the parade test without anything. Parade test. Mm -hmm. Just make sure it will move like that. Yeah. Right. And it's open. Yeah. That way, re ready to receive the. Yeah. Blue lights are not blinking. Mm. Mm. That means that you are uh, good. Yeah, all set, ready. Yeah. Okay. If it's blinking, something is wrong. Okay. Will blink if something is wrong. Okay. So yeah, it's an in viper. Yeah. To so put the patient's data, hit the viper, and then start record. Yeah. Now this screen will appear. It's a uh, new screen. So. After that, go to the toolbox mm -hmm. and there you put the surgeon, the anesthetist, and the practitioners. Yeah. Go to the case info. Yeah. There you will find this uh, demographics. Yeah. And there you put the patient's details. So you put all the yeah. patient details in. So now I will do it. Lock box, open it, and you will find here crank handle. So this is for the the eight inches for your main pump. So it should go like this. See that? And then turn it, whatever speed. And then yeah. you know that this is not fail safe. It can turn on that oh, direction. Yeah. So yeah, just it. The others are you know, three sizes. The six for this, and the four for the smallest. Four for the small for the cardio please. Yeah. So it's in the box and an extra low coat. Yeah. That's all on the box. And your tape. Right. Yes, on battery, yeah. Back on mains. And how do you lock it? Yeah, how do you lock it? So just lock it, yeah. And then turn it. If you hear the clicking yeah. sound. When you hit the maximum, yeah. it. you can try. You just put the tubing in, right? There. And then lock it. After putting it, you can do this. So it's open. It's, it's ready. Yeah. But it's still open. Yeah. Okay, coming up. Okay, Yeah, same. Check and clear, thank you. Yellow up. Yeah, okay. So if you push it in, then it goes down to Venus. That's a Venus uploader. Push it back home. Oh, great. Okay.
That's full flower. Blushing. Happy. Right. Cheers. So you. Set anything as long as you meet the requirement for two one, and then the ball. Will... Back up. Giving Flija down the route. Yeah, let's turn it on. Your ball closure. Set it to your proper pressure. Flija running well. Up on your red. Red up. Then you want to lose it. <laughs> and the time if you want to change. Be just in and off. With here it's by 100. And then when I turn it on the next time, it will just do that. Okay. And then this will reset to zero. zero. Yeah. So every time I turn it on. So it's maybe yeah. Yeah. Now I will do ACT and blood gas. Yeah. I will do add lab. Yeah. ACT and arterial blood gas. So it's there. You can edit it later. So I'll put screen on sync and then sync. This one change before that. I've, there is one mode mode here like ventilation and patient ventilation. I can do like if I want my target is 25, I'm happy with that. So this is your setting, right? So I can do it like auto auto ventilation mode. Mm. So I will apply and see this will adjust automatically if I auto, but the sweep is manually adjusted. Uh, but the FIO2 is adjusted automatically. See, yeah, it will adjust. If you use this yeah. mode, yeah. but you can always do it manual. And okay, so this patient, patient ventilation mode can be used up to 32 degrees centigrade. Uh, that's the safe safest mode. Thing. So yeah, it's not safe, safe be yeah. below 32 degrees centigrade. Yeah. Empty out. Oh, open again. And then come back with your. If you want to empty more, you can reduce your area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Open. Yeah. Always open it. So that it will empty out. Yeah. This is the actual flow which is measured from the probe. Yeah. And if you just click once. And that's the actual flow that's set up on the pump. Yeah, that's the computer. Yeah. Yeah, that's the computer. The white yeah. is the computer flow, yeah. and the red is the patient's real flow. Yeah. Ah. So that's a pleasure. Yeah. After that, you can turn off. Yeah. Turn off. Half flow there. And then if you want to add volume, you just press 100. And we will be 100. <laughs> Easy. Oh, from here? Yeah. So coming down. Quarter flow. Happy? Coming off. That's off bypass. Thanks. Yeah.